What is up everybody? So you guys know I'm game for eating just about anything. So I decided to let you guys send in your suggestions and I'm gonna take the most popular answer, plug it into Google and recreate the first image that shows up. The most popular suggestion is taking down a hundred sausages at the local Catholic school. Let's see what that looks like. <sighs> Should have went incognito for this one. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the video. Just on my morning walk, looking like I'm about to get stuck in some uh, pretty intense rain pour right now. But don't we all spend a lot of time on the internet, especially these days? I think for me, it's just a big source of inspiration. It has taught me a lot about eating, but it rarely ever involves food. So today I decided to switch things up and let Google Images decide what I eat and pretty much what I do for the entire day. So just like a key party, I am a big fan of the unknown. So this could be, you know, a day of eating like a strong man or a day of eating like a Victoria's Secret model. We don't know. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is how the game, or I guess my day, my day is a game, is gonna work. So I have Google Images open right now and I'm gonna search a keyword, whatever I wanna do, whatever I wanna eat, into this and then I'm gonna roll two dice. And then whatever number it lands on is the image that I have to pick. And whatever's in that image is what I have to do or eat. So um, so obviously first thing of the day is coffee. Now I'm thinking, we gotta, we gotta be smart with what we do here. Cause just like a, a dating app conversation, you gotta manipulate what you wanna say to get what you want, right? So I know if I do Tim Hortons, I have a very high likelihood of getting donuts or like a bagel. I don't want that right now. So I'm thinking Starbucks coffee. Starbucks coffee. Okay, <clears throat> not bad. We got a couple of like coffees, just straight up coffees. We got we got one with three frappuccinos in there. Um, we got is that? Tw well, hope not. That'd be that put me in crippling debt with uh, caffeine induced anxiety. So hopefully, no, that's not twelve. We're good. So overall, I look like I'm in the safe zone here. So we are gonna roll the dice right now, and I don't know why I'm a bit nervous because even though I roll the dice every single night, this is not a situation that I can pull out of. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What? This is how this day is gonna go, isn't it? So we have to go to Starbucks right now and I have to get three Frappuccinos, it looks like. Oh man, today is gonna be an unplanned cheat day, I think. Shit. Hey. Good, how are you? Um, I'm not sure, what are these drinks? Okay, hey, you're all set in the Thank you. Thank you. $17 for coffee. So here's what we got going on. So we have a tall strawberry coconut blended refresher, a grande ice latte upside down. I don't know what that means. And then a tall coffee frappuccino. So I don't even know the caffeine content of all this stuff. I don't even know if it's kind of dangerous amounts of caffeine, but I should be okay. At least we got some color here. So I haven't tasted the rainbow this early in the morning in my life. All right, so we got the grande iced latte. That's good, can't go wrong with that. One down, two more to go. All right, so the iced coffee frappuccino. It's good, nowhere close to Tim's though. Calorie wise, around like 300 drinks, so like 900 calories, not too bad, could be worse. Might get worse. Maybe I'm playing 10K. <coughs> oh, the sugar is kicking in right now. Oh. It's actually elevating my hunger. So one thing about sugar is it tastes great. Once you have it, you get super hungry afterwards. We're gonna have to roll the dice for some breakfast after this. Okay, so I've never actually had a pink drink from Starbucks before, but. It's not great. Really? People like this stuff? It doesn't taste intentional. It kind of tastes like Pepto-Abysmal. Okay. Oh, all drinks down. I gotta pee. I just got this like wad of energy right now. I'm shaking from all the sugar. And I'm starving, so we are about to roll the dice for some breakfast. Okay, everybody, time to roll for breakfast. So everything about my mornings tend to be quick, so I'm gonna search quick breakfast. Okay, so we're gonna search quick breakfast. Quick breakfast, come on. I feel like this is like the closest thing I'm gonna get to my, my Vegas urge in quarantine. Quick breakfast. 
okay. Not bad. Lots of eggs, lots of avocado, kind of what I was expecting. Definitely a lot different than what I'm used to when I search quick breakfast on a different engine. Okay. Ten? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it looks like we have croissants. Some of them have egg, ham, cheese, and one of them has cream cheese and blueberries. I've never had that before, I'm actually kind of excited. So we're gonna have to go to the grocery store. I was kind of hoping I was gonna have everything at home, but I don't, so let's go to the grocery store. 300 calories per two? Breakfast time, so we got a nice variety of fillings here, just how I like to start my mornings. So we have four mini croissants, one with uh, ham, cheese, and a fried egg. We got one here with some melted frozen blueberries and some ricotta cheese, and then just a staple banana peanut butter, and then a s'mores croissant. Like who's having a s'mores croissant for breakfast? I haven't had a marshmallow in a long time. Okay, now we are gonna go with the blueberry ricotta cheese one. It's gonna be kind of like a cheesecake situation, so I, I think this one's actually gonna be the best one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With this entire meal, it's not that much food. We're, like, we're getting close to a thousand calories, so if you guys like croissants, be careful. Be careful with them. Okay, let's, we're gonna end off with savory. Go to go with the banana peanut butter. Banana is just so good. I use them all the time. I never really eat them that much. Just I completely underappreciate the taste. And last but not least, we got ourselves a little egg and cheese with some ham here. Tastes like I'm at Dunkin' Donuts, yo. Oh, well that was good. Super tasty. See you guys at the gym. Hey everybody, we are at the gym right now. I have Roni with me to give me some luck on this roll. So we're gonna do a push workout today. So I'm gonna to search push workout. And I feel like my luck today, I'm probably gonna get like a V-shred workout or something like that, but we will see. Push workout. Images. What do you think? And then I gotta roll. Here we go. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, this looks pretty good. So we got some compound movements, bench press, front squat, damn it. I thought I'd escape doing legs. So bench press, front squat, overhead press, dips, tricep extensions, and cab raises. What do you think? I was supposed to start my actual push workout off with incline bench, three sets, eight to 10, where you're doing flat bench, four sets, eight to 10. So I'm actually like decently on program. I'm actually getting a pretty good workout today, so I'm pretty happy with that. My chest is so pumped right now from all the carbs and all the sugar. Uh, so now we have some front squats. And I was like, why is there front squats on a push day? And I was like, oh yeah, we are pushing off of the floor. So it kind of makes sense. Uh, I have never done front squats in my entire life. So it looks like it's gonna be very, very hard because I do have absolutely no wrist flexibility whatsoever. So I'm gonna be going very, very light, like one plate maximum, three sets, eight reps. So in the photo, he looks like he had his arms crossed like this. You're kind of like resting on your upper shoulder. Do not duplicate this form, guys. That 
it was way weirder than a back squat. It definitely wins you a lot more than a traditional back squat because when the weight's in front of you and you go down, it wants to take you forward. So you're trying so much to keep your like core stabilized. So it's actually winning me. It's only, only 155 pounds on the bar. Okay, front squats are done. And now into something I'm very familiar with. Overhead press, three sets, 10 reps. So I know I've touched on this before, but a lot of people have been asking me lately, how do I increase my overhead press? So I noticed a lot of people unrack the bar and then they're like this with their elbows. What you wanna do is you wanna tuck those elbows in and keep them tight and flex your lats. It gives you a much more stabilized base to push from. So if you're having trouble progressing on overhead press, make sure the elbows are tucked and you notice the strength increase right away. Okay, so now we're back to the chest. We're doing some weighted dips, three sets to absolute failure. This is actually one of my favorite chest exercises on the planet. Took it out of my program for a little bit. Might want to throw it back in. Okay, three sets dips to failure, done. Now we just got some triceps and some calves. All right, so next up we have overhead tricep extension. So if I only had to do one tricep exercise per workout, I'd always pick an overhead extension one because that hits the long head of the tricep, which is the biggest of the three heads on the tricep. It gives you that illusion of a bigger and more thick arm. So if you're looking for to get the best bang in your buck in a workout, overhead extension is where it's at. I feel like every time calves are involved in a workout, they're always the last exercise of the day and you always just skip it. I don't know if it's just me because I'm guilty of doing that. Do you guys do that comment down below? I always skip doing calves. So I feel like if I actually want to grow my calves, I gotta do it the first before even the bench press, you know? Okay, so the workout is done overall pretty good, got enough chest work done. I would have liked a little bit more shoulder stuff like lateral raise or something like that, but it is what it is. And now it's time to figure out some lunch. So, you know, I had a dream last night with Ronald McDonald, at least I think it was him, I was facing the other way. And ever since then, I cannot stop thinking about McDonald's. So I think I'm gonna type in McDonald's lunch. So that could either be really fun or really stupid. And I'm, I'm really, I'm willing to roll that dice. <laughs> so let's see, McDonald's lunch. Don't, do not give me a menu, do not give me a menu. Do not give me a menu. Do not give me a menu. Okay, this actually looks not too bad. Okay. Don't let me down. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So it looks like we're having all day breakfast. Thank God I did not get number 11 because I'd be tasting Ronald all week. So it looks like we're having breakfast for lunch. egg and cheese and McMuffin and then I got the fries because they just have the hash brown and uh, you know I feel like every time I open up like a McDonald's like sandwich you get a little bit of buyer's remorse you know what I mean because it looks like the meat looks like it's had like a, a three-year on again off again relationship with Xanax it just does not look natural in any way I look at like the, the chicken nuggets and I'm like what does E. coli smell like because I think I found it everyone's just staring at me right now as I'm doing this uh, food review they're so like crisp and erect. There's no floppiness. Want a flat pack? 
No, it's okay. I like things floppy. Do they can floppy? Like can floppy. That's okay. Okay, guys, so that was lunch. Probably the best eats a redhead has given me in my entire life. So, gonna head back to my house, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back, and now it's time to do some cardio. So, McDonald's before cardio, it's like having a stroke during a game of charades. I can't think of worse timing right now, because I feel disgusting. So, I think I'm just gonna type straight up cardio in the search bar and see what I get. Okay, I'm actually kind of hoping for, you know, a treadmill or something. Not Cardi B, Cardi O. Okay, now we're gonna roll. Four, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, 10 minute cardio YouTube workout from Mad Fit. So we're gonna go downstairs right now and uh, give it a shot. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing a cardio workout. Exercise number one, into the straight jumping back. Open it, open it, 45 seconds. All right, 15 second rest, get ready for some mountain climbing on the ground. Wow, that was insane. Mad fit is mad fit. I actually really enjoyed that. I think she's also from Canada. I think she's from Hamilton. Super, super enjoyable. Really like those movements. If you guys haven't checked her out, I recommend it. Okay, so just got out of the shower and typically at this time, it's right around four o'clock, I would have myself a snack, but I'm not gonna have a snack today because I am way ahead of calories for the day. So the point is that, you know, if you're ahead of calories for the day, you might go out to McDonald's and have a pretty big meal or just any sort of like a quote unquote cheat meal with higher calories. You're gonna have to be prepared to sacrifice in later parts of the day. Or even if you're gonna have a dinner, a big dinner, sacrifice earlier on in the days to create that equal balance. Because if you just do that all the time, go over your calories, you're just gonna gain some weight. So, you know, staying in shape is all about being balanced, going out when you want to every now and then, making it fit within your calories. So with that said, uh, my mom's home, it's the weekend, and we're gonna go find something to do. We like to walk, but I feel like if we just type walking in for our activity, we would literally just get to see a bunch of feet and footsteps, that wouldn't be that fun. And that's kind of cheating. Yeah. Since we already walk a lot. Yeah, so yeah. what are you thinking? I'm thinking we do like, hmm, we like, mother, Stepson. Stepson? Oh, so that's instinctive. Oh. My bad. Mother, mother, son. Yeah. I'll probably refrain from saying older son. Right? Mother, and, mother son. and son. Yeah. Activity. Yeah. Hey, not tight. Activity. There we go. Okay. Mother and son activity. Hey, mom, I'm going to let you have the honors of rolling. Okay. Well, looks like you might be reading me a story. Oh. Seven. Seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we gotta open this up. 29 outdoor mother and son activities. Okay. You'll love. All right, do we have to do all 29? No, we can just pick one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have come to the conclusion that we are just gonna go to the park and throw around a baseball. All right. You probably have no arm. What do you mean I have no arm? Can you throw a ball? Yeah. Okay, we'll see about that. I was on the baseball team when I was in grade seven. Are you serious? Yeah. So we just drove to the park. My mom said she's gonna walk home. Yeah, because your car stinks. I left my squat shoes out in the heat. So, sorry, Mom. Yeah. She almost threw up, literally, almost threw up. We see, we have a tennis ball, we don't have a baseball. We couldn't find one. Let's see it. I'm, just, I'm gonna go easy here. Here we go. Okay. Oh. You're, gonna, you're gonna send me long. All right. Okay, I can take it long. All right. Trust me. All right. I'm only not going up. Okay, so that was baseball with my mom. What do you think? That was actually a good workout. Yeah. I actually got quite a few steps. 8,618. I'm only 11,000. Only. Yeah. Animal. So I'm walking home. Okay. I don't want to get in your car. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Bye. She's actually walking home, guys. It's that bad in the car. I feel kind of bad, but 20K steps. Okay, so it's about that time to start thinking about some dinner right now. So my current calories are like, 
around the high 2000s to 3000 right now. So I'm pretty much at my maintenance calories for the day. Don't wanna to go too much over that. So I'm thinking, I don't. I also don't wanna cook. So I'm thinking about like a fast food joint that's like decently like healthy. And I'm thinking of Subway, but I'm afraid I'm gonna get like a whole list of like a bunch of different footlongs. So I think about, I, I gotta type it smart. What do you think, mom? You know that guy that did the weight loss for a Subway, that Jared guy? Yeah. That lost 100 pounds on Subway? I just type him in. I, I, I don't. I don't want to have him because I have to. Ha I have to do everything that's in the photo. Oh. You know what I mean? How about healthy Subway meal? No, but then that's cheating. Yeah. So I think Subway dinner meal. Yeah. Okay. Subway dinner meal. Okay. Now we go Google Images. Okay. Looks like we got a bunch of six inches. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Pretty okay, good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you roll. You're, Unless you get that whole, <clears throat> whole album. Well, I need protein. I've had like no protein too. I'll let you roll this. Okay. On the floor again? Go on there. Well, yeah, here, go there. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes! You're the best, mom. I know. What so I got it? myself, it's like a, a turkey, beef. a turkey and like ham sub. And beef. Is that and beef? veggies. And I veggies. think there's, I think well, there's I turkey and veggie, ham right? and roast beef. Okay, so a nice six incher. So I'm not gonna go too far over my calories today and it looks like a drink of choice. There you go. And not even a chips and a, and a cookie. Sweet. There you go. Uh, what, what is this one? Oops, I stuck with club. So we have a roast beef. Yeah, I'll do that one. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody, time for the last meal of the day. We got ourselves a six inch sub. So with my track record, this is probably, you know, one bite with a little bit of discomfort, but luckily I have some food on the side. We don't always get that luxury. Uh, who the heck gets a six inch sub at Subway? Like, come on, I don't think I've ever done that in my life. Even when I was like six years old, you know, I'm a true eater. Like, I have no words for this thing. But I mean, calorie wise, we're in a good spot right here. It'll put me right around, you know, my 3000 calories for the day. So I can't complain, even though I just complained. I feel like when there's like a bunch of different types of meats, because in this we got some turkey, we got some ham, and we got some roast beef. This is the Subway Club. Turkey just gets lost. The other meats just overpower it. I would say Subway is very good at marketing, because I feel good about myself when I get Subway, even though I had a whole entire loaf of bread, you know? They make you feel like you're making the healthy choice and then a sub has almost 100 grams of carbs. Oh. All right guys, well I am gonna wrap up the video here. Just search and dessert is not worth the risk. I was considering searching cake, but I already got one picked up for tonight. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.